Hi, I'm Bob Cox, and this is Cox Notes. Some of my more popular videos on YouTube are those that where I talk about my guns and my hunting and fishing, and, and guns in particular. I enjoy talking a little bit about them. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Back a long time ago, when I was doing a lot of reloading and some competition shooting, I purchased a crony chronograph, and I used it quite a bit. Several years ago, I had a problem with it, and I sent it in to have it repaired. The result was they sent me a brand new one, and I put it on a shelf, and it's been there for several years. I decided recently to get out the crony and test some ammunition in a Ruger Mini 30 that I'd recently purchased. So join me while I unbox my old crony that is still new in the box. Assembling the crony is relatively easy and instructions packed with it are simple to follow. Once assembled, install a 9-volt alkaline battery, and it's ready to use. There are a couple of other things that I want to point out, however. The Crony is equipped with a digital readout and is large enough to be easily read from the distances uh, necessary. The bottom of the crony accepts a standard one quarter inch camera tripod bolt, so it can be mounted to a standard camera tripod, and that makes it very mobile and easy to maneuver around. For purposes of this video, I'm using a Ruger Mini 30 in the 7.62 by 39 caliber. And I have uh, another reason for using this particular rifle. I've set up my crony here too, and, and uh, I'm gonna compare a couple different cartridges in, in this. The more common cartridge used in these are the imports, and uh, they're okay. But uh, some of the the Hornadies, those kind of uh, manufacturers, make a little bit better, I think. And I'm going to test that out to be sure today. Now, I bought this little carbine because I was planning on going feral hog hunting down in Texas with Richard Dick and shooting feral hogs from a helicopter. By the way, High Country Helicopters that uh, Richard Dick owns uh, he's based out of Hutchinson, Kansas now, and uh, he's a ex-official sponsor of my YouTube channel. So uh, if you happen to be driving down Highway 50 and you see out there by Hutchinson, you see uh, Richard Dick. Last I talked to him, he was sitting out by his mailbox waiting for his stimulus check. At any rate, uh, that fell through. We didn't get to go hog hunting, but it was an excuse to buy another gun. So I'm going to set this up a little bit here, and I've got a target out there. Uh, this one's about 25 yards away, more for demonstration purposes than anything. Now, there's a couple of things that I always like to stress. First being safety. I've selected a spot that's got a nice dirt background, a nice high bank back there to, present, to, to prevent any kind of ricochet. 
And these uh, metal jacketed bullets uh, can ricochet rather badly. So pick yourself a good spot. Uh, I've got a spot here, it's on uh, BLM land. It's kind of a private uh, place where not too many people show up. It gives me a, a little time to set things up and, and have some fun with it. So our first trial here is going to be with typically what people shoot in these things. Relatively economical, 7.62, 39, and this is tool, um, tool ammo. I got that at uh, 2,422 feet per second. The second shot is at 2363. So we have 24, 22, and then 2363. Okay, and now we have one at 2433. You probably heard the ricochet on that last shot. And I want to point out at this time that we always are concerned with safety. And in this case, I have a berm as a backstop back there. And beyond that, I have a very big hill. Always be cognizant of your backstop and where that bullet's going to go if it does ricochet. And in this case, I feel relatively confident that we are in a safe area where it's not going to hurt anything. Included with the crony is a test record sheet that's very valuable, especially if you're reloading, to keep track of the results from each shot fired. Here I've recorded the results of the first three shots. Notice that while there was some significant deviation in those three shots, the average deviation comes out zero. I was rather surprised actually with this outcome and I'm even more surprised with what happened next. My next three shots were the Hornady SST and the first shot was 2,344 the second 2,347 and then 2,349 we noticed here, and it surprised me, first of all, that the velocities were a little bit lower than the imported ammo, and also that there was a deviation uh, from average velocity of minus one. So the bottom line is, you can pick up one of these cronies for right at $100, give or take a few dollars. If you're a hand loader, I really recommend you have one in, in your equipment. Uh, if you're not a hand loader and you're still curious about certain things, it's a good way to establish a little bit of, uh, of a guideline on what type of ammunition you want to buy and, and for what purposes you want to buy it. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Ruger Mini 30 in another video. So until then, uh, Subscribe to the Cox Notes channel and just have a wonderful day.